Hey guys, it's Jen and today I wanted to share with you my March favorites. I don't know what it is about this year, but it seems like every single month there have been so many great new releases or at least new products to me. So again, for the third time this year, I have a bunch of brand new products that I have fallen in love with that I wanted to share with you. I'm going to start off with one that might be slightly controversial. When I was looking at the reviews on Sephora, it isn't super high, which is surprising because this palette is actually from Urban Decay and Urban Decay usually just always knocks it out of the park especially when it comes to eyeshadows and I was really excited to get my hands on this particular product so this is called the Backtalk palette and that is because it has two different sections here we have your typical Urban Decay style eyeshadow palette and then on the other side there are actually blushes and a highlighter so there's three blushes one highlighter here this middle section, I personally think it's a little bit unnecessary. It's nice to have if you're taking this to travel, I suppose, but it's just a mirror that you can see on both sides that fits right in the middle. You can use it both ways and basically have a full face of color products. So I was actually pretty hesitant when I started using this because I read the reviews online first and people were saying it was having a lot of pigmentation problems and a lot of the shades just don't show up on them. I'm usually pretty critical when that happens in an eyeshadow palette. However, I really only had a problem with these two medium shimmery shades right here. Everything else, I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually kind of obsessed with. I almost hate to say this because people were so negative about it, but I love the colors in this palette. It's just a really beautiful pink to brown kind of color tone, and I feel like it's really flattering on my skin tone, especially when I I want to do a little bit more pinky, not quite purpley, but maybe a little bit cranberry-ish shade because there are a lot of pinks that make your eyes and skin area look really sick. But this color right here, Backtalk, is such a gorgeous transition color that's so different than my typical medium brown matte shade that I always, always use on my eyes. And I feel like that is the purpose of this shade and it looks really great while being a completely different color palette. It also works really well integrated with the other colors so I can use this pinky shade even if I'm going to contour with a more brown tone. I have been using basically every single shade except for these two although today I did end up using this third shade just as like the middle of my eye. It's a very very natural subtle kind of look when I use these two because they don't have a ton of pigment if you're like medium skin tone like I am but overall the fact that all of the other shades are really gorgeous on my skin. I feel like that makes up for it. Most palettes, even the ones I love the most, have one or two shades that I kind of skip over. Even my original Naked palette, there are a couple shades that I rarely use. So I really like the versatility of having sort of like the pinkier tones, but still has a completely different shade range than the neutral browns that I always tend to gravitate toward. On the other side with the four blushy, cheeky kind of colors, I have to say, I'm still such a stickler for like matte orangey kind of cheek right now, just like a peach. This doesn't really have exactly that tone, but I do really like Double Take. That's a great everyday color. Cheap Shot is really great if you want to do more pinky colors. Again, with this shade range, it works really well. I would use this one if I'm using more of the brown tones and the purplier one if I'm using more of the pink tones. Low Key, I feel like, is kind of a NARS orgasm-ish dupe. It definitely has a little bit more shimmer than I personally prefer at this stage in my life. But Party Foul, the thing I really like about this shade is obviously you can use it as a cheek highlighter, but because this doesn't have a really light, shimmery, highlighty shade in the eyeshadow side, I actually use Party Foul to give my eyes a little pop of shimmer at the inner tear ducts. If you get this palette, then just remember that it is a little bit more versatile. Whatever you have over here with the eyeshadows, if you just want a different shade. You can always use one of the blushes as an eyeshadow too. Next, I wanted to talk about a product that I'm sure I've talked about it a million times before, but because I use it every day, it's one of those things where I don't know if I highlight it enough as a favorite. Lately, I have been using my very, very old school Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is the original, it's not the light. There's like hydrating version. I actually love quite a few of the Smashbox primers. They are one of the first to just 
have like silicone based primer and I feel like it works really well especially if you're having some unevenness with texture but you don't want something that's spackling your face smooth your skin can still breathe it is oil free so it's not going to be too too heavy but I feel like it just smooths everything out and really gives a much more even but natural canvas before your foundation so I love this this is my go-to lately every day especially if I'm having a little bit drier skin days I feel like it works really well next I wanted to talk about some lashes you guys probably know that I've been loving Esquito lashes for the longest time and I was super excited they came out with some unison lashes so these are actually synthetic but I swear to goodness gracious they look so freaking natural they look a lot like mink lashes and I'm so excited I've seen this from many different eyelash brands lately it's like the new generation of lashes look so much more real than the previous generation of super spiky crisscross lashes you put a pair of these on they look so natural synthetic lashes tend to be a little bit more lighter weight generally than some of their mink or heavy other synthetic counterparts I just really love this brand they have so many styles that work really well for me this particular one is called bread and butter and it's probably their most natural pair but even the ones that are the medium length those are sort of my favorites that flare out at the sides I will link the names of my favorite styles down below but I've been wearing them constantly lately and I just think they look really beautiful as a finishing touch to my makeup Hi. we have an extra production assistant helping on set today she's directing where Podo and Uyu go so if you guys know what that means let me know down in the comments <laughs> the last two products are some of my favorite lip products that I've been using you guys know I am such a hardcore lover of the Dior addict lip glows and they came out with a few new color ranges including some holographic ones that have a little bit of shimmer in them and I have to say this one is my favorite it's the 009 hollow purple and it has these little glitter flecks that are pink but have a little bit of a blue shift when you put it on I don't know if you can tell from that far but again it's just a nice easy everyday throw in your purse wear all the time kind of shade it's a little bit extra fun for like spring and summer because it has a little bit of glitter in it generally I stay away from glittery or shimmery shades but I feel like this sort of lip balmy kind of texture and the subtle color it still really looks beautiful it's easy to pull off and it's just a little bit more fun than your typical lip glow. And then finally, I wanted to talk about these little Chanel Rouge Allure inks. I have these in a couple of different colors and I'm obsessed with every single shade I've tried. I will say some of them tend to be really opaque and some of them are a little bit more sheer. Aria, say hi. 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 Which one do you like better? Hmm? The pink one? Red one? Yeah, this one's the red one. Favorite color Aria, can you see? Fancy. Bye, Twitter. Fancy. I really like the formula because in some ways they're like other liquid lipsticks, but it feels lighter on my lips than other things I've tried. Oh, the red one feels yeah. a lot like the fancy red, 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 liquid red. lipstick that I tried. <laughs> <laughs> that I tried before. It's very opaque, but also very liquidy and isn't overly drying. I absolutely love that one. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Aria, can I have one please? I'm also really loving this pink shade because it's actually a really great MLBB kind of color. BBB. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> If you like a matte pink everyday kind of lip that doesn't feel too drying, it still is that like liquid lipstick kind of look. This one is really great. Some of their other colors like the coral I've tried, they're definitely a little bit more sheer, but the pink color and the red are really excellent, have a lot of opacity, and they just feel really good on the lips. It's like a liquid lipstick light. 
<laughs> so I guess that's about it for this month's favorites. I hope you enjoyed our extra special guests this week, Oreo and Aria, and Baby 2 in the stomach. Things are a little bit of a madhouse, but I hope you guys will forgive me and understand. Anyway, I love you guys so much. If you have a favorite this month, let me know that down in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more of our videos. And I will see you guys next time.